Okay, boys and girls, um, you just watched a video about um, pronouns, and so, um, and you've probably now had a little bit of practice with um, the Kahoot, that's if you went out of order, but it's okay. Okay, so let's look here. Um, there are seven different types of pronouns but for today we are going to be focusing on possessive pronouns relative pronouns and indefinite pronouns a possessive pronoun refers to a specific owner and some examples would be mine yours my hers his it's your etc it denotes that you own something okay it could be a thing or an idea all right, then you have a relative pronoun, which connects a phrase to a noun, pronoun, such as who, which, that, or whom. And then we have indefinite pronouns, and they don't really refer to anything specific, okay? And so some examples of those are all, any, each, some, and several. So it says here to circle the pronoun in the sentence and write the type of pronoun. So number one says the movie that Katie saw was fantastic. And if you noticed over here in your box, your toolbox, the pronoun that falls under relative. So you would circle that and you will write relative because that's the type of pronoun. Okay. Number two, are these glasses yours? When you think about it, we're talking about possession here, okay? Because the sunglasses belong to someone, right? And so yours would be here under possessive pronouns. So that would be possessive, and you would circle yours. Number three, something seems wrong with this picture. Hmm, something seems wrong with this picture. Now, what I want you to do is to think about what pronoun can be found in this particular sentence. I'm going to give you just a second to think, okay? If you need to go back to the anchor chart that's in the course, you can to try and help you. Um, but if you have it, no problem. So I'm going to give you just an, a second or two to think about it. Okay, so the pronoun in this particular sentence would be something. Okay, something. All right, and it's indefinite. Number four, did you do any homework today? Hmm, I want you to think about this one. Did you do any homework today now remember a pronoun will take the place of a noun in the sentence and again don't forget that you have three different types and so in this particular sentence any would be the pronoun okay and it would be an indefinite pronoun because it doesn't really refer to anything specifically okay Number five, we let our dog run free for the afternoon. We let our dog run free for the afternoon. Think about this one. Showing possession, our dog, okay? Number six, the lady who lives in that house bought a new car. This is a relative pronoun. The pronoun would be who. The lady who lives in the house because it's connecting a phrase to a noun or a pronoun. The lady would be the noun. Who would be connecting that portion of the sentence to this portion of the sentence. Okay. Number seven. None of these people have heard the song. None of these people have heard the song. I'm going to give you a few seconds to think about this one. 
If you said none, you are absolutely correct. Good job, good job. Number eight, his mom said to go to the store and buy bread. His mom said to go to the store and buy bread. I want you to think about this one. Don't forget to go back to your toolbox and think about these three types. If you said his, you're absolutely correct. It's showing possession. The mom belongs to him. It's his mom said to go to the store. Okay? And for the last one, Robert will tell the man who works at the store. Think about this one. Robert will tell the man who works at the store. If you chose who, you are absolutely correct. It is a relative pronoun. And it is connecting a phrase. Robert tells the man who works at the store to a noun or pronoun. Okay? So what you're going to do now, you're going to try on your own with a new set of sentences. And again, please remember to always check the little toolbox here over at the side. You can always revisit the anchor charts and the videos that are posted in the lesson. That's what good readers and writers do. So don't think anything of it if you need to go back and refer to it. Um, and Ms. Johnson will see you on the other side.